Coming up on High School Quiz Show, it's the Bromfield School. <laughs> Taking on Belmont High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. The new Drive with Safety mobile app was designed with your teen driver's safety in mind. The Drive with Safety app helps monitor and reduce distracted driving behaviors. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Now, back in November, over a hundred high school teams throughout Massachusetts competed in our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 spots in this year's competition. The goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion. Now, today's matchup has Belmont High School taking on the Bromfield School from the town of Harvard. On the Belmont team, we have Matthew, Cameron, Eva, and one young with the alternates, Laura and Tor, and Coach Stacy Williams. <laughs> and from the Bromfield School, we've got Kevin, Johan, Grace, and Vivian with alternates, Akira and Ivy, and coaches Kathleen Doherty and Miriam Smith. All right, the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We will start with the toss-up round. All answers in this round are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So if everybody's ready to play, good luck, teams. And uh, here we go. Who formulated the three physical laws of motion that together laid the foundation for classical mechanics? Yes, Wan Young. Isaac Newton. Yes. What American city is home to the Astrodome, a venue that opened in 1965 as the world's first domed, air-conditioned indoor stadium? Yes, Wan Young. New Orleans. No, Bromfield School, you want to try it? Yes, Johan. Houston. Houston is correct. In 2013, a British engineer concluded that static electricity was the likely cause of what infamous German airship explosion over Lakehurst, New Jersey in 1937. Yes, um, Cameron. The Hindenburg disaster? Yes, that is correct. In 2017, a Massachusetts judge threw out the murder conviction of what former New England Patriots player who died before his appeal could be heard. Yes, Kevin. Aaron Hernandez. Yes. Now take a look at your screens. And pictured here is a dust storm in Kansas in 1935. What U.S. state was the most common destination of people fleeing the Dust Bowl in the 1930s? Yes, Cameron. Um, California. Yes. What 1962 book by Rachel Carson sparked public outrage over the uncontrolled use of chemical pesticides? Yes, Cameron. Silent Spring. Yes. In the scandal known as Bridgegate, political appointees of Governor Chris Christie colluded to create traffic jams in Fort Lee, New Jersey by closing toll lanes to what bridge? Yes, um, Cameron. George Washington Bridge. Yes. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. This memorable line is from what Shakespeare play? Yes, Cameron. Um, Julius Caesar? Yes, in 2017, what Tesla founder uh, made good on his threat to quit several White House advisory councils after the U.S. pulled out of the Paris Climate Accord? Yes, Johan. Elon Musk? Yes. Again, take a look at your screens. Special guest with your next question. Hi, I'm Janine Madrid, and I'm a senior education associate with the Museum of Science. Here's my question. Leonardo da Vinci's drawings show his vast knowledge of anatomy and geometry. He created what famous drawing of a male figure inscribed in a circle and a square? Yes, Cameron. Um, Vitruvian Man? 
Yes, and named after the creator of the periodic table, what element has the chemical symbol MD? Yes, Matthew. Mendelavium. Yes, in 1921, what author of the Age of Innocence became the first woman to win the Pulitzer Prize for fiction? Yes, Vivian. Um, Edith Morden. Yes. Uh, which of the following can be measured in units of bars, pascals, or tors? Is it A, radiation, B, pressure, or C, sound? Yes, Grace. Pressure. Pressure is correct. Math question here. Uh, the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 210 inches. What is the length of one side of this triangle? Yes, Grace. 70 inches. That is correct. Uh, during the Quebec winter of 1604 to 1605, uh, Samuel de Champlain lost 35 of his 79 men to what disease brought about by a deficiency of vitamin C? Yes, Eva. Uh, scurvy? Yes, former Texas Governor Rick Perry uh, now leads what federal department he once vowed to abolish? Cameron? Um, Department of Energy? Uh, yes. What was the real first name of Marxist or revolutionary Che Guevara? <laughs> Ernesto, uh, the answer there. Uh, Disney is developing a new live action film about Rose Red, who was the sister of what fairy tale character? Yes, Grace? Snow White. Yes, which of the following events happened most recently? Was it A, the English defeat the Spanish Armada, B, the Vikings reach North America, or C, Columbus reaches the Caribbean? Yes, Johan. The English defeat the Spanish Armada. Yes. Lavender Mist is a famous drip painting created in 1950 by one American artist closely associated with abstract expressionism. Yes, Wan Young? Uh, Jackson Pollock. Yes, the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory, the largest magnet lab in the world, is based in what capital city of Florida? Yes, Cameron? Tallahassee. Yes. Uh, what three-letter acronym refers to the energy-carrying molecule found in the cells of all living things? Yes, Wan Young. ATP. Yes, math question. I picked a number, I multiplied it by 7, and I got 98. What was my original number? Yes, Johan. 14. Yes, once known as the Jerusalem of the North, uh, what capital city of Lithuania was a thriving center of Jewish culture and learning before the Nazis invaded in 1941? Yes, Matthew. Vilnius. Yes. Coal Miner's Daughter is the title of an autobiography, but what singer known as the first lady of country music? Yes, Grace. Dolly Parton? No, Belmont, you want to try this? Yes, one young. Miley Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Um, Loretta Lynn uh, is the answer there. In uh, Ovid's Metamorphoses, who is the beloved of Pyramus? Yes, Cameron. Thisbe? Yes. Uh, what six-letter Latin word meaning lock of hair refers to the thin sheet-like clouds at high altitudes typically seen with fair weather? Yes, one young. Cirrus. Yes. The Spice Islands, also known as the Moluccas, are part of what archipelago nation located off the coast of mainland Southeast Asia? Yes, Johan. Indonesia. Yes. In 1799, British chemist Sir Humphrey Davy uh, discovered the anesthetic effects of what chemical compound, sometimes called laughing gas? Yes, Cameron. Nitrous oxide. Yes. In 1987, in a famous speech at Berlin's Brandenburg Gate, President Ronald Reagan urged what Soviet leader to tear down this wall? Yes, Grace. Gorbachev. Yes. In Miranda, whoa, and that's the bell ending the first round. The score right now, Belmont High School, 170 points. The Bromfield School, 110 points. Great job. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we'll take a couple of minutes, if you don't mind, get to know the players, the contestants, a little bit better. I have a question. Uh, each of you will get a chance to answer it. We'll start here with Belmont High School and you, Matthew. Uh, what's the number one thing on your bucket list and why? I would like to visit the Brandywine Zoo because it's the largest zoo in Delaware, and Delaware is a really great state. Okay, Cameron? So I would like to visit the Delaware Seaside State Park because it has some lovely kayaking, and it's the nicest seashore in Delaware, and Delaware's okay. a pretty awesome state. Okay, I sense a theme here. Uh, Eva, how about you? Um, I love American history, so I'd like to visit Winterthur Mansion, which is one of the, has one of the greatest collections of Americana in the world, and it's also in Delaware. Of course it is. Uh, <laughs> Wan Young? 
Well, I've always liked birds since I was a kid, and I watched that <laughs> Hitchcock movie about the evil birds that kill Who people. Did? Yeah. So um, I'd love to visit the Bombay Hook uh, Wildlife Refuge in the great state of Delaware. It has um, a lot of really cool seabirds, and it really shows that Delaware has a lot, of, lot to offer. Yeah, I'd really personally love to know the Delaware connection here, but I'm not going to ask. But we'll go to the Bromfield School. Kevin, how about you? So our team decided to take this question very literally, so we actually thought about things we want inside buckets. So <laughs> since... Ever since I was young, I've wanted a lot of money, so I'm going to have to go with a bucket of money. Bucket full of money. Okay, Johan? There's nothing that embodies the essence of 21st century culture more than the memes, so the first thing on my bucket list is a bucket of memes. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right, Grace. I think everyone can agree that 2017 was a pretty rough year, so I think everybody could use a bucket of happiness. Bucket of happiness. I feel better already. Uh, Vivian, how about you? I mean, well, since it is my first time here, um, the first thing on my bucket list would be probably a bucket of victory. A bucket of victory. And by the way, Vivian, welcome to your first time uh, here on the High School Quiz Show. All right, so it's time for the head-to-head -head round. The way that works, teams, you will come forward, and we all, or you all, will go head-to-head. -head. So let's go. Come on down. All right, we're about to go head to head. I've got the Bromfield School on my left, Belmont High School on my right. Gentlemen, you care to shake hands, get things started here? Uh, as a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds, and here we go. What land purchased approximately double the size of the... Yes. Louisiana Purchase. Yes. Name the author of the short story... Oh, dang it. Um. Yes. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe would have been the answer there. Uh, what Midwestern U.S. city is home to the Field Museum and the Sears Tower, also known... Seattle. No, Chicago. In 2017, the U.S. Justice Department prepared to file criminal charges against what WikiLeaks founder? Yes. Julian Assange. Yes. What is the chemical symbol for fluorine? Yes. F. Yes. The Battle of Stalingrad was one of the bloodiest battles of what war? Yes. World War II. Yes. Name the junior U.S. Senator from Massachusetts. Yes. Elizabeth Warren? No, Ed Markey. Uh, a tetragon has uh, how many sides? Yes. Uh, five. No, four. Uh, what soft, spongy material in the center of bones produces most of... Yes. Marrow. Marrow is right. What Major League Baseball team is based in San Diego? Uh, the Padres. Uh, what is the largest country in the world by surface area? Yes. Russia. Yes. In the United States House of Representatives, each representative is elected to a term of how many years? Two is the answer there. In 1962, Rwanda gained independence from what European country? Oh, that's the end of round two. We'll take a look at the score. Belmont High School right now, 160 points. The Bromfield School, 140 points. This is very close. Woo! Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. G-Men, what's your sign? That's Amore, Fantasy Island, Rock the Casbah, and HH. Now... Each category has five questions with increasing point values. And uh, players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you do buzz in, uh, you can no longer confer. We will need your answer. It's a very close game. Bromfield School, you're slightly behind, so you get to choose the first category. And what's it going to be? We'll take what's your sign for 10. Okay, these are questions about math terms. And for 10 points... In mathematical sets, what is the name of the set that contains no elements? Yes, Matthew? Null set. Yes, the null set or the empty set. Uh, you've got the board, Belmont High, category? HH. Uh, okay. HH, questions about people with the initials HH. And by the way, players, uh, we will need both the first and last names. 
Uh, and uh, here we go for 10 points. During World War I, uh, what celebrated magician uh, taught American troops how to escape from sinking ships and free themselves from handcuffs if captured by the enemy? Yes, Cameron. Harry Houdini. That is correct. Belmont, you've still got the board. Category? Uh, stick with HH. HH. For 15 points, what senior Nazi official who led the SS and the Gestapo was responsible for conceiving and overseeing the so-called final solution? Yes, one young. Heinrich Himmler. That is correct. You've still got the board, Belmont. Category? Uh, stay with HH. HH for 20 points. Two Broadway theaters have been named after what legendary actress known as the first lady of the American theater? <laughs> Helen Hayes is the answer. Belmont High, you've still got the board. Category? Uh, stay with HH. HH for 25 points. In 1946, what German author of the novel Steppenwolf and Siddhartha uh, received the Nobel Prize in Literature? Uh, Eva. Uh, Herman Hess. That is correct. You've still got the board, Belmont. Uh, stay with HH. For 30 points this time in the film Trumbo, Helen Mirren plays what real-life gossip columnist who ruined many careers by naming suspected communists during the McCarthy era. Hedda Hopper is the answer there. And Belmont, you still have the board. You'll need a category. Uh, Fantasy Island. Fantasy Island. Questions here about fantasy novels. And for 10 points, in The Hobbit, what strange slimy creature who lives in a cave has been corrupted by a magic ring which he calls My Precious? Yes, one young. Gollum? Gollum is right. You've still got the board. Belmont? Uh, stay with Fantasy Island. For 15 points in William Goldman's The Princess Bride, uh, Wesley and Buttercup encounter what terrifying creatures known as R-O-U-S's. Grace. Rodents of unusual size. That is correct. And uh, Bromfield School, you now have the board category. We'll take what's your sign. This time for 15 points. Which of the following math properties says we can move numbers around and still get the same answer. For example, six plus three equals three plus six. Is it commutative, distributive, or associative? Yes, Cameron. Commutative. That is correct. And you've got the board Belmont. Uh, Fantasy Island. Going back to Fantasy Island, this time for 20 points. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is the second title in the Narnia series. What first title in the series explains how Aslan created the world and how evil entered into it? The Magician's Nephew. Oh, uh, you've still got the board, Belmont. <laughs> Uh, stay with Fancy Island. Uh, this time for 25 points. What 12-letter word refers to Harry Potter's signature spell used by a wizard to make his opponent drop his wand in a duel? Yes, Cameron. Expelliarmus. Yes, and you've got the board, Belmont category. Uh, stay with Fancy Island. This time for 30 points. A Game of Thrones and A Clash of Kings are the first two volumes of what epic fantasy series? Yes, Cameron. Um, a Game of Ice and Fire. No, Bromfield School, you want to try it? Yes, Grace. A song, of, a song of Ice and Fire? Yes, and now Bromfield School, you get the board. You will need a category. What's your sign? What's your sign? Uh, this time for 20 points. Named after the English mathematician who conceived it, what diagram uses overlapping circles to visually represent relations between sets? Yes, Cameron. Venn diagram? Venn diagram is correct, and now Belmont, you have the board back. Category? Uh, stay with what's your sign? For 25 points, uh, the number sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on is created by adding the last two numbers to produce the next number. This famous sequence is named after what Italian mathematician? Yes, Cameron. Fibonacci. That is correct, and you still have the board Belmont. Category? Uh, stay with what's your sign? 30 points at stake here. In Cartesian geometry, the y-coordinate of a point is called the ordinate. What term is used for the x-coordinate? Yes, Cameron. Coordinate? No, Bromfield School? Abscissa is the answer there. And Belmont, you have the board. You'll need a category. Uh, G-men. G-men. Questions about the FBI. 
And for 10 points, in May 2017, President Trump abruptly fired one FBI director amid the ongoing investigation into potential leaks between Russia and the Trump campaign. Yes, one young. Comey? Yes, James Comey. You've still got the board, Belmont category. Uh, stick with G-Men. G-Men for 15 points. Who led the FBI for 48 years from 1924 until 1972? Yes, Cameron. Hoover? Yes. You still have the board, Belmont High. Uh, continue with G-Men. G-Men for 20. What infamous gangster and bank robber during the Great Depression was the FBI's first public enemy number one? Yes, Kevin. Al Capone. No. Belmont, you want to try it? John Dillinger, uh, the answer there. And Belmont, you still have the board. Category? Uh, stick with G-Men. G-Men for 25 points in 2005, breaking a silence of 30 years. What former FBI official stepped forward as Deep Throat, a secret source during the Watergate scandal? Mark felt the answer there. And uh, Belmont, you still have the board. Uh, keep going with G-Men. This time for 30 points. In 1948, the FBI investigated what former State Department official accused of being part of a Soviet spy ring by Whitaker Chambers, a senior editor at Time magazine. Yes, Cameron. Algar Hess. That is correct. And you've got the board. You'll need a category, Belmont High. Uh, rock the Casbah. Rock the Casbah. Questions about the Middle East stand for 10 points. Uh, the Clash song Rock the Casbah was inspired by what country's ban on Western music after its 1979 Islamic Revolution? Yes, Kevin. Iran. Iran is correct. And now, Bromfield School, you have the board category. We'll stick with Rock the Kasbah. This time for 15 points. Uh, the legal system of Saudi Arabia is based on what Islamic law derived from the Quran? Yes, Kevin. Sharia law. That is correct. And you still have the board. Bromfield School. Rock the Kasbah. For 20 points, what Egyptian president was the first world leader to congratulate Donald Trump on his win in November 2016? Yes, one young. Morsi? No. Bromfield School, you want to try it? Abdel Fattah al-Sisi is uh, the answer. But Bromfield School, you still have the board. Category? Rock the Kasbah. Uh, this time, 25 points. What country forms the entire northern border of Syria? Yes, Johan. Turkey. Correct. You still have the board. Category? Uh, rock the Kasbah. 30 points this time. Named after the British statesman who wrote it, what 1917 declaration promised British support for the Zionist goal of establishing a Jewish homeland in Palestine. Yes, Grace. The Balfour Declaration. That is correct. Uh, oh, and that ends the category round. Uh, the score right now, Belmont High School, 290 points. The Bromfield School, 245 points. It is still very close. Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning Round, you will get 20 points for each correct answer. Answers that are incorrect will cost you 20 points. Now the clock is set. I'm ready, teams. Good luck. Here we go. West Point Military Academy is located in what U.S. state? Yes, Matthew? New York. Yes. Who directed two of the highest grossing films in history, Titanic and yes, James Cameron? Yes. Human growth hormone, or HDH, is produced by what gland at the... Yes. Pituitary? Yes. Uh, what British Prime Minister was nicknamed Dizzy? Benjamin Disraeli. Hanley Ramirez, the designated hitter for the Red Sox, was born in what country? Kevin? Dominican Republic. Yes, what sea forms part of the northern border of Iran? Yes, Johan. Caspian Sea. Yes, what NASA spacecraft is currently orbiting the planet Jupiter? One young? Juno? Yes. How many pounds are in six U.S. tons? Yes, Cameron? Um, 12,000. Yes. Hades is best known for kidnapping what Greek goddess? Persephone? Yes. yes. Uh, what is the chemical symbol for gold? Yes. AU. Yes. Tim Kaine, Hillary Clinton's running mate in 2016? Yes. Virginia? Yes. Uh, what is the oldest stroke and also the slowest stroke in competitive swimming? Yes, Kevin? 
breaststroke. Yes, in 1862, during the Civil War, what admiral commanded a Union fleet that captured the city of New Orleans? David G. Farragut. What is the first name of the merchant in the Shakespeare play? The merchant, yes, one. Uh, Antonio. Yes. Uh, the Patagonian desert lies primarily. Yes, Argentina. Johan. Did he get in? Yes, Johan got in with Argentina. And that is the end of this game of the winner this week, Belmont High School, <laughs> with a score of 470 points. And the runner up, the Bromfield School, 325 points. Congratulations to both teams. A really great and exciting round. Uh, now, Belmont High School will move on to play in the quarterfinals. So be sure you're tuning in. And we'll see you back here next week on High School Quiz Show, everybody. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. There are hundreds of dangerous intersections out there. Fortunately, there are even more independent insurance agents who work with Safety Insurance, helping to ensure you're covered no matter where you drive. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. Production of WGBH.